My name is Nadine Stradom. I'm a marine biologist. I work in the speciality field of ichthyology and more specifically on larval fishes. Essentially this is the start of the fish life cycle from when the little young hatch out of the egg until they start looking like a fish. Nadine has always loved aquatic life and it is not surprising that she chose to dedicate her life to it. I was inspired to become a marine biologist by spending a lot of time on the coast as a child. I grew up in quite an outdoorsy family and my dad enjoyed um, fishing so we spent a lot of time on fishing holidays every year. I've been an amateur naturalist and a lover of marine life since I was really young and I've wanted to be a marine biologist for most of my life. As a marine biologist, you can choose an area of study that fascinates you the most. Essentially, marine biology involves the study of all um, living organisms in the ocean and obviously this is quite varied. So people study anything from the tiniest, tiniest microscopic organisms that are fractions of a millimeter to big blue whales that are over 30 meters long. And marine biologists not only study the animals themselves, but how those animals um, relate to their environment and interact with the environment around them. And obviously that environment also includes people. As a marine biologist, um, one essentially conducts research and this involves a lot of field work, um, collecting the animals that we are studying and that's in, the, in my particular case followed up by lots of laboratory work and, uh, and then one has to write scientific papers which involves lots of time behind the computer, doing statistical tests, plotting graphs, supervising students along the way and obviously there's a lot of admin that goes with all of this and also a lot of fundraising and the administration and the fundraising um, that comes with marine biology are aspects that one doesn't always get to hear about um, at the university level. My career takes me to places that sometimes few people get to go to, um, both on land and underneath the water and, um, and just to be able to experience the environment and to be able to understand it and study it, I suppose that's that's something that, that really keeps me ticking. Never believe everything you hear. Ensure that you have the right information before pursuing a career. My advice for budding young marine biologists is to find out exactly what the career entails because there's a lot of misconception out there um, regarding what a marine biologist actually does. Uh, specifically, um, pupils tend to confuse marine biology, which is essentially science and scientific research with animal husbandry, dolphin training and that sort of thing. So um, it's important that students get the right advice early on, possibly go and visit the universities they intend to study at in their matric year already and um, find out about the different courses and what the career actually entails.